Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now, guys, let's take a look. The brief, uh, take take the brief look on the gold market. As you can see, market current week is mostly calling very in very tight range. So uh, we see the multiple inside sessions, even that has started on the last week. So we can see here drop. All the other sessions stands mostly inside of the range of this drop. So, so my market stands just below the 1177 former uh, support area was held market from the further drop in July this upward ABCD action has started now market has dropped lower again to the same area based on the action that we see here is mostly reminds the bearish dynamic pressure because we see the bullish trend right now but price action uh, doesn't hurry to turn to the upside action and you can see that market with this uh, spinning tops pattern so you can see the market has the same top here uh, it, it points on the strength resistance that exists slightly above the market. So you can see that market mostly stands and calling right now below this consolidation uh, and can't return back above it. So this action in general looks bearish. Uh, and we already have said that bears have better uh, position here, m m more power than the bulls. And recent actions confirming this. That's uh, that's been said. Although in the long-term perspective, I think the situation will start to change in the global markets due to the growing tensions in the geopolitical situation uh, in the world. But this is in the long term. But in, in, it it doesn't absolutely forbid for the market drop for the another 50, 100 bucks lower to hit some targets in the short-term perspective within the month or so. Uh, th there is no contradiction in between these moments, uh, but uh, it, it seems that gold could stand very close to the reversal, but the reversal to the upside of the, of the uh, general trend, the major trend on the long-term perspective, I mean really the big trend, uh, market really stands somewhere, near, some, some, somewhere nearer the reversal, but this reversal needs to take some time. Uh, that's why, in the short-term perspective, we expect the further continuation to the downside. Most probable target, as we said, this ABCD pattern that we have, and it has the target around 1087, 1040 area. This is what we will expect. Uh, on the 4-hour time frame chart, guys, uh, we have this consolidation that's also forming some sort of the triangle. Take a look that market on this recent move up wasn't able to pass through the weekly pivot point and then drop lower and the same situation is on the year is long journey to the upside but very fast move to the downside just two three candles down while here we see the uh, more significant amount of the time period longer upward action and you can see this is typical for the all recent action so after this drop market stands long term for the consolidation is drop lower again Long term way on the on up on uh, above uh, to the upside and then drop within three sessions. And uh, again, this here is the same. So uh, it seems that market uh, is very close to the downward continuation and it's forming of this triangle pattern. Let's take a look the five wave inside it. One, two, three, four. Usually the breakout of the triangle happens on the fifth way. Uh, it's very typical for triangle consolidation. So that could. Uh, happen that we stand right now on the swing that will put the foundation for the bearish breakout. Also, as we said, uh, to change the situation market should move above the 1085. But as you can see this hasn't happened. That's why probably it's not the time right now to speak on the possible bullish reversal and for taking any bullish positions. Uh, so if you think about the taking the short, so you could think about this consolidation that reminds the flag pattern. Also, market has formed here this minor grabber that suggests move down. And so, in action in the recent couple of sessions mostly looks bearish because market wasn't able to pass through the weekly pivot point and drop lower, and drop was relatively 
um, faster than our prediction. That seems really bearish. That's why in the short term perspective we, we continue to monitor and expect further drop lower to our next target. We probably should see some acceleration here. If of course any, we will not get any surprise from the uh, from from our politicians. So it's really nobody can predict this. Uh, but taking a taking a view on the pure technical picture, it mostly looks bearish, and some bearish breakout should happen because market already stands below the major re resistance. It already has been broken. It's coiling below it, uh, and here till this area we do not have any other sort of the support. So no fib levels, no weekly, no no pivot points. It's most uh, relatively free space here. No oversold. Market easily could reach this area. So let's see.